So this is the tuner. And as of late, it's been one of my favorite lens accessories that I've ever used. And by attaching the tuner to any of my lenses, it immediately gives those lenses a more filmic and vintage look. And I'm always looking for ways to get a more vintage and filmic look out of my footage. And from simple and even more complex and higher dynamic scenes, the tuner can be used for any occasion. With multiple looks inspired by classic vintage glass, the tuner is something that I've been waiting for. Hi, hello, how's everybody out there doing today? It is of course your boy, Volantis, back with another video. All right, so as mentioned in the intro of this video, we are talking about The Tuner by Module 8. Now, before we start, I do wanna say that I am not being paid, nor am I being instructed by anyone. Every single opinion in this video will be my own and only my own. Although Moment was nice enough to send me these tuners to test out for free. But again, I am not being paid nor am I being instructed for anything in this video. So I found out about the tuners a couple of months ago when Moment announced the product by Module 8. And at first I did think it was a product by Moment considering that they do make optics and other lens accessories for iPhones. And it wouldn't be too far off to think that they would eventually transition into making something like this. But after doing like one second of research, I found out that it was actually by a company called Module 8 with the founders behind Module 8 being Lane Neal and Mike Thomas. Now some of you may have heard of Lane Neal, but if you haven't he's essentially for lack of better words a lens designer with an impressive and incredible background in optics and a couple of years ago he joined cook as chief optics advisor and if you know anything about cook you know that their lenses are phenomenal perfect amazing probably my dream lens to have is a cook lens so to be working over there you have to be doing something right so not only does he have an amazing eye for design and optics but he's won over a handful of academy awards for his work and his designs have been used in over a thousand motion pictures so if i'm being honest usually when i see a product like this one i would immediately feel like it's a gimmick and i don't really usually like gimmicks. But since this is an actual product and an original design by someone who has a long history of creating lenses and helping filmmakers get the look they want, it was a no brainer that I had to try it. But all right, let's talk about the tuner. If you guys wanna know more about the people behind it, I will link some of that stuff in the description so you guys can go read it yourselves. All right, so the tuner. Moment sent me the L1 and the L2. So the L2 is inspired by the vintage K35 glass. It looks to soften skin tones in the center of the frame with only a slight roll off in the field and is best used for higher speed lenses. And the L1, which is currently on my camera right now and honestly my favorite of the two tuners that I've been using, I've been using the L1 more than the L2. Not to say that I don't like the look of the L2, but I definitely love the look of the L1 a lot more and I feel like it fits me and what I do and like the look that I want to see within my videos more than the L2 does. But I do like the L2, but I just feel like the L1 is more of my style. And the L1 is inspired by the Super Baltar glass. And for anybody who doesn't know what Baltar glass is, it was used in movies like The Godfather. Look One provides creamy halation across the entire image frame that can be adjusted to an intensely dreamy feel at higher apertures. Now speaking of the L1, since it's on my camera right now and it's the tuner I've been using the most, I will say that when shot wide open and when shooting wide open with it, it does make the effect increase by a great amount. Now in some cases, I love that look. I love the halation. I love the glow. I love how soft it makes everything in frame. And I love how it just makes things look and have that character that you look for sometimes when you're shooting with vintage lenses but I will say that even in some cases it can be too much even if you have the tuner turned all the way down and your aperture is closed a little bit but I will say that when it works it works they also make an l3 which I do not have and that is inspired by anamorphic lenses so this is a future recording and I just wanted to get in here to say that I know that I said I love the look of the l1 and that it was for me and it was my favorite but after using the l2 and going out and shooting a few more things with the l2 i will say that i love the l2 a lot more than the l1 
I think that I was just really impressed and shocked with the look of L1 that I kind of disregarded the look of L2. But the more that I've used the L2 tuner, I realized that I love the subtleness of the L2, which in my opinion means that I can shoot more things and more day to day things with the L2 than I could the L1. So I take that back. I love the L2 more than the L1. So me personally, I'm a fan of the tuners. And like I said earlier, usually a product like this would seem like a gimmick to me and I would probably look past it. But I've been using the tuners on almost every single thing that I've been shooting lately. I shot a short film about my 10 year anniversary of growing my hair and doing photography. I shot another short film where it was only macro shots of my morning. I shot a short film of my friend and his art. I shot a short film of uh, my friend getting his hair done. I've just been using the tuners for quite literally everything and I have yet to really find anything that I have a issue with except what I already mentioned. I also think it's dope because there's a lot of people on the fence and when it comes to buying lenses and the right lens and the right lens for you could be a very hard choice and a very tough decision to make considering that lenses aren't cheap and it kind of creates the look of whatever you're doing. Sometimes people lean more towards a clinical looking lens where the lens is more perfect and then sometimes some people might lean towards a lens that has a little bit more character and isn't perfect and has some things that's bad about it but it makes that lens stand out from others and I feel like the tuner might make it easier for some people to make some of those harder decisions about lens choice because if you're going for a clinical looking lens and that's the lens you want to buy but you might feel a little iffy about it and kind of want that characteristic and vintage look you could buy one of these and still have your clinical looking lens and attach this when you want to do something that's more stylized and have a little bit more character and then if you have a lens that already has character you could already attach these to it and then give it a little bit more character and that might work for some people i've personally been using the tuners on the dzo lenses that i own and i think it's perfect for those because the dzo lenses do have some character but they are slightly clinical in a way but they lean a little bit more towards vintage in my opinion and I think adding this tuner to these lenses kind of just opens them up and gives them an entirely different look that you would probably have to try to create in post or with something else. I've also haven't been having to use a pro mist filter because to me this adds a lot of it softens the image enough for me already so not having to use a pro mist filter is good for me because I have so many pro mist filters at all different strengths and all different sizes and sometimes it just gets in a way and it gets a little bit too much so so being able to just put the tuner on and then adjust the intensity straight from the tuner is amazing and i've been loving that so that way i'm not locked into just one look unless i change a filter or something like that so clearly these aren't the super baltars or the k35s those lenses cost tens of thousands of dollars and they aren't accessible to the normal person who's just trying to do some filmmaking on youtube or just trying to do filmmaking in general with no budget. And I'm not completely sure how much the tuners cost. I think they might be twelve, thirteen hundred dollars $1,300 upwards to, to that. And I know sometimes people might find it hard to justify spending that much money on something that isn't a lens, considering that you can spend that much money and buy a lens because the DZO lenses cost like $1,400. So you could either buy a DZO lens or you can buy a tuner. But I think if you already have a set of lenses or if you have some extra money laying around and you can afford to get one of these, it might be worth picking up because one, it's fun to use and I've been having a blast with it. And two, you could create some cool looks and kind of do something that other people aren't doing at the moment. Another thing that I love about the tuner is that it's more than just an adapter. I've bought so many adapters that are just adapters. And the fact that this acts as an adapter and has some cool features that comes along with it makes it almost worth the money as well. So if I'm being honest, if it came down to it and I had to decide on whether I should get a new lens or if I should get the tuner, me personally, I would get a new lens. And that's not to say that the tuner isn't worth the money. I think if you can afford it and you are in a position to where you can get one, then you definitely should because I think it's a great product. But I'm currently building a set of lenses. And I think once I'm done building that set of lenses, I will be more open and in the field to get something like this, which I think most people would probably say the same. If they had all the lenses that they needed and all the lenses that they wanted, then maybe they might get the tuner afterwards. But at the same time, I also could see myself buying a lens and then buying this because it's almost like you have two lenses in one. And you're also getting a look that usually would cost tens of thousands of dollars to get 
otherwise. But like anything in someone else's life, those aren't decisions that I can make for anybody. I feel like if you're in a position or you're somewhere in life where you want them, you should get them. If you're not, then maybe not. But that's with anything in life. So, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I guess either you can or you can't. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, with that being said, that is all I have for you guys. That's all I got to say. Um, I will say that every single clip in this video was filmed with either the L1 or the L2. And while it was being filmed, I had it down in the corner so you guys can see which one was which. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, got something out of it. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please do me a favor and hit the subscribe button. If you're already subscribed, I'm not talking to you because you already did what you had to do. So with that being said, I'm gonna get up out of here. I'm gonna go do some shit, man. You know the vibes. Let's get it.